This is question number five, looking at this cost-benefit diagram. And it says here, it shows the market for the production of electricity using coal. So when they use coal to make electricity. They say, assume there are no external benefits. You can tell this as well because there's only one benefit curve. And it says marginal private benefit is the same as marginal social benefit. So all we've got is external costs, and that's why we have the marginal private cost curve and then also a marginal social cost curve. And they want to know which of these can we infer from the diagram. So before we even look at what the possible answers are, let's just establish the free market equilibrium. That occurs where marginal private cost is equal to marginal private benefit. So marginal private cost is equal to marginal private benefit here, and then we follow it down. So it's this quantity here. So this is the free market level of output. And then we can also find out where the socially optimum level of output is. And socially optimum level of output that occurs where marginal social cost equals marginal social benefit so social cost social benefit they come together here it's this quantity so this is the socially optimum level of output at q1 and also, before we look at the answers, we can also find out what the net welfare loss is. So you see where you operate at the free market level of output and you find out the problem. The problem is that this level of output, the marginal social benefit is down here and the marginal social cost is up here. So this triangle here is the net welfare loss. So now that we know all of those things, we can see what the right answer is. So A says at the free market equilibrium quantity, the marginal social costs exceed the marginal social benefits. That is true. That's why we've got the net welfare loss. At this level of output, the marginal social cost is this much. If you read it across, it's up here. And the marginal social benefit is this much at PE. So it looks as if this is right but you need to check the other answers in case. The area of net welfare loss at the free market equilibrium is given by the area X, Y, Z. That's wrong. X, Y, Z is this here. That's nothing. So that's not true. Next one. The social optimum quantity exceeds the free market equilibrium quantity. The social optimum quantity, that's here, exceeds, is greater than, the free market no it's not it's less than the free market so that's wrong and the last possible one an increase in the quantity from q1 to qe from here to here will reduce the net welfare loss it won't the further we are over here the bigger this net welfare loss the closer we are to q1 the smaller the net welfare loss so this isn't true so we will write the answer is a